Hey everyone, we're going to take a look at a new video project, a video chat GPT project to be exact, and I don't know a lot about it, so we're going to explore this one together. Now, I happened onto this, and I've only seen a very small example of it, but you can tell it's a very brand new project. I mean, we've got like 252 stars, a lot of the updates were just a few days ago. But the idea here, from what I understand, is that it can read or at least see a video. It can interpret what the video is and actually make sense out of it. So what we're going to do is try it out. We're going to test by submitting a couple of videos, maybe some shorts that I've created in the past, see if it can make sense out of it, and try to get an understanding of what it's doing and how it works. To start off, let's look at the main descriptor. It is a video conversion model capable of generating meaningful conversion about videos. So we've got an LLM model, GPT-4, combined with a model interpreter of, well, something new, something we haven't really seen before. Now, the link for the project, as with all my videos, is going to be in the description below. You can see it here. But before anything, let's get a taste of what this program does. So through trying it out, we're just going to click on here, and this gives us the capability of uploading a video. Now, I've only tried this once before I started recording. So we're going to drop a video here, and we're just going to hit this button so that it can interpret. Now, while I think it might be fun to drop a gigantic video, it would probably take a while not just to upload, but probably to interpret. And I don't know if it would be the fairest thing to assess. So let's take a look at one of the shorts that I've created recently. And we'll see what it does with this. All right, so what we're going to do is just click on the upload button, and it's going to send it in, I suppose. <clears throat> You know, for a video that's only 10 seconds long, that wasn't just upload time. I imagine part of that was processing or post-processing, pre-processing. Not really sure how this works just yet. But now that we've got it uploaded and we've clicked the button, we've got the ability to start chatting. So let's ask GPT-4 what this video is. So I asked GPT-4 what it sees, and it says, in the video, you can see a woman with long hair sitting on a bed talking to the camera. She's wearing a black dress and has a pink blanket on the bed. Let's see if all those things are accurate. All right, so let's check off the facts. We've got a woman. We've got long hair sitting on a bed talking to the camera. She's wearing a black dress and has a pink blanket on the bed. All of those things are accurate. Uh, let's see if it can maybe read. I don't know if it's a dark mode thing or what, but my text doesn't immediately pop up when I type it, but after the processing or whatever, whatever I type does show up. Yes, there were letters in the video is the response to were there any letters. Uh, out of curiosity, let's see if it can get the name of the song. The video contained a song by the band called The 1975. Now that probably isn't accurate. Let's see if we can get the name of the song. Uh, but I don't think that GPT-4 is exactly Shazam. You know what I mean? The name of the song was Somebody Else. So let's see if we can find that. Phil, look at that. Look at it. his head hit the concrete. Did nobody see that? So I'm going to call this one a loss. I don't think that this was the name of the song, despite the fun detour. Let's, uh, let's get back to the GitHub. So they talked here about introducing 100,000 high-quality video instruction pairs together with novel annotation. They're trying to develop the first video conversation evaluation framework. And while we've looked at and seen a lot of text-to-video type models and a lot of uh, forays into that type of technology, nothing has really ever been super great. If you're looking at this and asking yourself, like, why would I need this? I can read video. I can interpret video. Uh, it's really the automation that takes place as a result of something like this. By being able to upload a video and getting a description, for example, maybe the future of YouTube means that I don't have to describe my videos anymore when I upload them. You know, if anything, this tech gives us a clear-cut view of the future where we're able to see that videos can be interpreted. 
Maybe in the future when I upload videos, I'm going to get a example description that I can choose to use, or I could write my own, for example. And that's just one of many, many uses for something like this. Maybe you don't actually need a short story or a poem inspired by this video clip, but these are really just more examples of what the model is capable of and what it can do, not really things that you would use it for in the real world. What's interesting to me is it has that power of the GPT-4 interpretation of language. So you can kind of throw stuff at it or speak to it in very common wording. Like you don't have to speak in a very formal text. You, you could choose to, you can tell it exactly what you want and you will get something back like that. But you can also use very basic, very common speech. Like you'd speak to a buddy and you, you'll actually get feedback like you would expect to. It looks like a very similar installation procedure as everything else in this space. You just want to use a conda environment and this one additionally uses flash attention for training. And taking a look at the flash attention repository, this may not be the most Windows friendly install. So I don't know that I'd recommend this for a Windows user, but I would definitely check out the link for the demo in the description if you want to check it out for yourself. All right, it wants to give me an error on the longer video. So let's really try to push the limits here on a shorter video. Now, what we have here is one of my earliest deforum attempts. And uh, I don't know what GPT-4 is going to make out of this imagery. So let's find out. Let's just ask, what do you think this video is? And see what we get. This video is a woman dressed in black, standing in a dark forest. She's wearing a black dress, surrounded by a dark atmosphere. I mean, it's accurate. Let's see. Let's see if GPT-4 can critique my video and make it better. To make this video better, you could add more details to the woman's appearance, such as her makeup, her hair, or her accessories. You could also add more elements to dark forest setting, like adding more trees, creating a sense of depth, and incorporating more light sources. Jewelry, cape, mask, make her look more intriguing and mysterious. Finally, you could also add a soundtrack or a voiceover to enhance the overall mood and atmosphere of the video. Now, that is interesting. What I noticed that was interesting in the response was that it commented on the sound and video. So I asked it if it didn't hear sound, and it didn't. And it's saying, yeah, I didn't hear any sound or video. Adding a soundtrack would greatly improve the experience. So now, out of curiosity, I wanted to ask, based on the imagery, what soundtrack makes the most sense? And it's saying, based on the images, a dark, atmospheric, and mysterious soundtrack would make the most sense. This type of soundtrack would complement the dark forest setting and the woman's costume. So that gives you a lot of idea of what it is, how it works, what it does, all that fun stuff. But as we're closing out here, I wanted to take a look at the acknowledgments section, because I did notice that this isn't actually GPT-4. This may actually be Vicuna based, which is even more impressive if I'm being honest. And it looks like the developers here gave credit to Llama, which Vicuna definitely would, but here it says Vicuna has the amazing language capabilities, which I'm assuming could mean this is based on Vicuna. Now, looking at this Lava project, this is actually a large language vision assistant program. So, and so this can look at an individual image and describe what it sees and what's in the image. You know, and from there, a large language model can interpret. And so, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed the video. I just really wanted to show another technology that stuck out to me as being very impressive. And certainly one other thing that we're going to see become more and more common as we move into the future. But if you can stay tuned and hit that bell, I'll do what I can to stay on the cutting edge for you and let you know what I see and where I find it. As always, thank you again for checking in with me today. And I appreciate your time with me here today. Thanks for watching.